Virgo singles, welcome. It's your December singles read. Doing something a little different this month than the Meet the Soulmate read. Um, and uh, this is a 10 card reading that I call Tarot Story Time. And I think it's going to be a little more helpful than the Soulmate, uh, Meet the Soulmate read. And uh, which I may go back to once a month or something, do, it, do that one week. Uh, but I want to see how you feel about this one, so do comment and let me know. And it should be something you relate to, and we'll get somewhere with this. Uh, and I want this to be projective, too. I want this to be for a single. If you have someone on your mind, give the uh, heart spread a try. It's also up every day. Wednesday's always Leo and Virgo day. Uh, either way. So, I did put it out ahead of time. I had to spend some time looking at it really thinking about it okay um, and I did uh, clarify which I don't usually do and what I was clarifying was the king of swords and the seven of swords here um, and I think I, I got my answer so um, I get the feeling like some of these readings I'm kind of almost going back a lifetime like I'm saying oh, here's you as a kid and this is you as an adult uh, in the very near uh, past with this king of pentacles and um, King of Pentacles, what? You got under control, okay? You're, uh, that could be the Virgo card. Uh, that's uh, someone that's uh, got everything they need. You know, the King of Pentacles, you need something, you just get it. Um, you don't worry about things. You don't worry about, are you good enough? Uh, you're very secure. Um, but this King of Pentacles must not have a queen. It's a male or female, but it's an analogy. Because <laughs> he's looking, and he's looking. Three of Wands, putting some effort into it. Wands are actions. Um, so take a kind of act, some kind of action, looking for love. And the thing about it is, you know, I've got to say, this is very Virgo. <laughs> Coming over the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups over the Seven of Pentacles. So this could be going on now, or this could be just in the recent past as well. And this is the energy of, you know, taking a good look at something with Seven of Pentacles. And deciding that you're emotionally just not into it. And to me, this would be taking a really good look at it. This Seven of Pentacles is every which way. This Seven of Pentacles is like the IRS shows up and say, I would see your books, I would see Virgo, I would see all your books. And get a cup of coffee because it's going to be a while. You know, that's the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. It's uh, um, looking at things very realistically, uh, facts fact-based and then this is just a feeling that comes from it which is the four cups and it's just like you're finding yourself you're not into whatever it is you're looking for in love not finding it whether it's with a person or a series of people um, that's your story this is kind of recently in the past I wasn't quite sure what to make of the nine of cups over the eight of cups but here um, I think we may begin to see the person that you're involved with and um, I think this is someone you met and probably it was in a group of people um, they may have even been married to somebody else when you originally met them so you met them you interacted there was something between you that was strong and I don't know if anything happened with you um, it, maybe there was some kind of an emotional affair or just an emotional connection and you know emotional affair would be like if you kind of have a lot of contact and you know start talking about emotional things that are not shared with the given uh, other lover um, but so something that went on there and then ended you know and I don't know going from the nine of cups to the eight of cups it doesn't seem like it's it would have been all that devastating though um, but it might might have been because then you show up here with the Ten of Wands and feeling very stressed out and very uh, burdened and um, the person that's coming in for you now this is the one in the future and I don't think you know this one I, I think you met this person in a group of friends or in some kind of social network, and frankly, just a bar from the card. I mean, could they met in a bar? Um, and so I think the person that's going to come in for you is coming out of that network. Uh, 
they know so the, you know the six degrees separation thing they know somebody that knows somebody that knows you they know somebody that knows somebody that knows you I gotta remember to put that as like the tag if it'll fit I like it because uh, I think that's what's going to happen um, and I kind of get the feeling with the ten of wands and the six of cups number one you're feeling stressed out I mean it's the holiday season and everything like that um, you, I, this is kind of like got too many things to do in one day um, but with the six of cups here it's saying if something feels right I'm thinking of an invitation if anyone invites you anywhere in the next month, this is a December read, um, you know, if it feels right, check it and do it. Go for it. Um, even though you might feel like you don't have the energy, you don't have the time, you know, um, with this Ten of Wands energy. Um, and I just get the feeling with that you're kind of pushing yourself. Uh, for some reason, this may not exactly have to do with the search for love. Um, this King of Pentacles, you know, the King of Pentacles has responsibilities. And sometimes things come up and, you you know, King of Pentacles is going to stand them down. That's what, what the King of Pentacles does, whatever it takes. But now the person that's coming in for you that's solid is this King of Swords. So they match you very well. And they're looking at the reading. In fact, they're looking down at your Six of Cups. So there is some feeling with them of uh, soulmate compatibility going on. I could see Venus and Mars energy here. And if they're a king of swords, it'd be an air sign. But I'll leave it at that because you're going to know them very well. And there's an element to them where they're defending the castle. So they have uh, boundaries and restrictions. And this is kind of meeting your ten of wands. And I think one of the boundaries and restrictions is they're not going to let you put down your any of your burdens with them right now. That's not part of the deal, if that makes sense. And your Ten of Wands is facing back into the reading, uh, which is fine, which is good. Maybe you want it that way. You're just like, you know what, I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Let's just don't worry about that. What I want to focus on is this feeling I have for you, this deep emotional connection. And they seem to be acknowledging that, too. But they have a, a lot of restrictions and um, things because they're in a contentious divorce. There's nothing other than that. Whether or not they've told you that or not, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, contentious meaning there's probably money involved. There's details. There's um, So if they tell you something, well, I can't uh, this or I can't that, uh, you know, it, it, at least in their minds, they can't. Maybe their lawyers told them. This is like the lawyer told me what I can and can't do uh, right now. Um, and I think that's why they're reacting that way. And so I think it's as simple as that. I mean, you met them through these other people, maybe through the same friends that you had this other relationship with. Um, this other relationship that you have might have been a Pisces, um, I think, here. Um, and you walked away from it and you probably didn't find them good enough really um, that's going to be a theme and i get the feeling though with this air sign it's going to be gemini libra aquarius person i think mostly aquarius here is what i'm getting um they're they're going to feel different they're going to feel different you know um this the one that you had this nine of cups that you might have kind of known almost going into it what it was that wasn't like the love of your life, right? But this is really different because, you know, as busy as you are, you're taking time to notice there's something here. If you're kind of catacorn, you're looking this way. They're looking down this way at this. It's something going to have to be ironed out around this marriage. It's going to take a minute. It's almost like, too, I feel like they're telling to you, like, I don't really, I can't really do this right now. I can't really give to you right now. Um, and it almost in a defensive way, you know, because it might be a little, it's like they maybe don't even go so far as to say, well, I'm really interested in you and I maybe feel something for you, but I have to deal with this other stuff. Uh, maybe they leave out the part where they're really interested in you and they just say, I can't right now. I need to deal with this other stuff. And I think they're kind of hiding a little bit 
typical for King of Swords, Aquarius, a little bit. Their feelings, you know, they're not going to wear their feelings on their sleeve. They're not going to, you know, ball and say, oh my God, I stay up nights because we're separated and, uh, um, by my evil witch husband or wife or whatever the case may be. So, um, time just may resolve this, um, I think. And uh, it, once you meet this person and you're in a relationship, do I mean, check out the heart spread reads because then they'll start talking about that. Because I think it's going to be a minute here. Um, I think you may meet this person December. That's the time frame. So it's coming. It's on you. But um, any time. Again, I would go out and push yourself a little bit. Like you're a little tired, you know. Yeah, go and do it, you know, go and at least show up and do it, and and um, I think that's how you're going to meet this person, this person here is going to be met through socializing somehow, so let me know what you think of that guys, uh, do uh, like and hit the bell and subscribe and all that good stuff, uh, if you think of somewhere to share this, any platform, help me out, please do, I'd like to get it out there, thank you guys.